हेलो एवरीबॉडी सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट डेवलपमेंट फॉर अ कैंपस डिजाइन एंड फॉर एनी आर्किटेक्चरल प्रोजेक्ट हाउ वी स्टार्ट आवर प्लानिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डेवलप आर जोनिंग एंड फॉर जोनिंग वी शुड नो अबाउट द एरियाज व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज एंड व्हाट परसेंटेज ऑफ एरिया वी शुड गिव टू दोज एक्टिविटी एंड फॉर फॉर दैट इफ वी आर डिजाइनिंग फॉर कैंपस वी रिजर्व एकेडमिक एरिया फोर्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट एरिया ऑफ टोटल साइट और आर बिल्ट एरिया सो फोर्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट एरिया गोज टू द एकेडमिक एंड द रिसर्च ऑल्सो कम्स हियर इन अकेडमिक दैन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एरिया एंड इट इज टेन टू ट्वेल्व परसेंट दैन कमर्शियल कमर्शियल इज थ्री टू फोर परसेंट library 10% sports and recreational 8 to 10% others 8 to 10% so these are the category and uh, the sub category will be uh, in these uh, heads like in sports and recreational we can give uh, our auditoriums and sports activities uh, playgrounds area and in commercial we we give the cafeteria canteen and uh, kiosk and then we start with doing the site analysis the site which we are developing for our uh, site plan and for our project we do the site analysis in site analysis all the component and feature of uh, related to the sites comes and we study the existing conditions of the site in context of the uh, proximity and Uh, site feature and we make a detailed data for our site uh, in terms of climatic analysis and environmental con- consideration for that particular site then comes land use zoning and we, in a site we divide our uh, land according to the use and we give separate pocket for separate activity so that one activity Uh, will not disturb to other activity in in a planning so after that land use zoning if uh, we do with with a design axis and it is called the uh, major uh, major <coughs> transport axis or major pedestrian axis which is the center point for our design and which is the reference for our main pedestrian that is according to the wind and according to the orientation and according to the, the all other climatic feature we develop a design axis into the into the site and along with uh, that we take our groups and we take our design activity area in form of zoning and then it develops in zoning plan or we can say locus location plan for the activities after that pedestrians we consider pedestrian most important for the any campus design pedestrian decide the function and pedestrian connect the all complexes all the uh, blocks in a site so pedestrian also decide our concept which type of uh, circulation system we are following and how pedestrian we can make effective for not giving the long pathway or long journey to going one block to another block then comes landscape landscape is also the prominent feature of any site and any campus so landscape also decide the aesthetic nature and uh, climatic uh, conditions for site as landscape can decide microclimate and macroclimate of that site which type of existing uh, vegetation is there which type of uh, plant we are going to uh, give in our site for the uh, planning for in planning process so landscape is also uh, the most important point for the uh, considering our concept and making a concept for our Side. So these are these were the points: site analysis, land use zoning, and design axis, pedestrian and landscape. 
so after uh, considering all those factors we also make sure that orientation what we are using in our site should be uh, proper for giving the efficiency and efficient design to our client so orientation we can prefer east west in a long axis so that we can get north south orientation so for north south orientation we give long axis towards the east west and the ratio in ratio of 1 to 2 we develop our blocks and then put in a site for the making the groups and grouping the uh, clusters in a site so orientation can be according to the wind according to the sun and according to both sun and wind so depend on the uh, location of the site and which type of uh, climatic zone is with site we decide according to that and if we give the concept uh, following all the uh, parameters what we have discussed like design axis then branches of pedestrian and blocking with uh, orientation orientation decide the uh, alignment of blocks and then we go ahead with the concept development and we develop a rough sketch of our concept with some uh, existing conditions and with some uh, aesthetic feature of design so in a summary we can discuss like we should integrate present and future needs in our design and design aesthetic with sustainable environment design aesthetic should be there but we should follow the sustainable measure and sustainable feature what is needed as per bylaws or as per the green building system then building performance and flexible to adopt change is a term building performance how building will perform after it is finished and how the site will perform uh, in terms of operations and maintenance so after the construction process it does matter that how efficient building is for giving all the performance related to the all the services then cost saving and efficient services cost saving is the word for nowadays we are saving our lots of uh, through energy efficiency and how we can save our energy and then our cost in our operation of building so minimizing the energy load on site and using the natural means of ventilation system and not uh, depending on the mechanical system in a campus because in a campus we can give uh, natural ventilation and the occupancy is moreover in daytime and uh, we can offer some natural ventilations so as a whole our campus should have an identity and the feeling of a connection so anybody who enter into the campus they should have some connectivity the feeling of uh, connections and uh, as rightly said that a campus is known by its character and character in terms of how building looks and the how the interior and exterior part make a design successful thank you